Hey, we all come into Tech Tips and Tricks. I've seen a lot of you guys that have watched uh, a tuto tutorial about how to set up XSplit Broadcaster. And uh, I didn't really do a super good job last time of setting it all up for you guys to really show you how to set it up. So I'm going to make a follow-up video on it and just show you a little bit more basics uh, on how to set it up and uh, get you up and uh, running here. So let's get started. I am under screen three right now. So let me show you how you add the uh, webcam to it. You basically go right here where it says add, go under devices, go under video, and you can uh, select your webcam. And there I am, <laughs> now you can see me. So let's just go ahead and hold your mouse right there in the corner. You can drag the video all the way to full size. So you can see me, yes indeed. So, now how do you actually go about uh, doing a live stream uh, to YouTube or something like that? Well, the way you do it is go right here on the top where it says output, and then you can set up a, a new uh, output for, uh, stream wherever you wanna stream it to. So you can set all of these up. You can also get more by clicking right here, and you can get more plugins to uh, more different sites that you want to maybe stream to or whatever and you can install them you can see even periscope and stuff like that is in here it's all kinds of apps in there you can see which ones i already have installed uh, but anyways let's set up a account here uh, let's say i want to live stream to youtube for instance i'm sure you guys will uh, want to do that right so let's just click on youtube well then i gotta authorize uh uh, the account. I might just blur out the uh, information here so you can't see uh, my email address and stuff like that, right? And uh, just gonna go ahead and log in here. And then uh, oh, you obviously have to do that with your own account too, right? So I'm gonna log her in. And uh, then you have to allow this program to get access to your to your uh, account, obviously, right? Just going to slide that over a little bit. And so now I'm authorized to uh, stream to that uh, to that YouTube account. So now what you can do is go under your uh, YouTube account and uh, retitle it, whatever you want. You can see your uh, stream bit rate. You can set it over here. I usually like to have it around 3,000. That's usually usually good enough and you can set your bit rate for your audio and stuff like that I usually just leave it at 128 and then all you got to do is hit OK then that is in here now you see it in here right well if I want to do a uh, live stream I just go to YouTube here just let me uh, switch over okay I am already under the account so basically you click there and uh, go under creator studio creator or creator studio whichever way yours is set at <clears throat> and then you can go under your uh, live stream here and then uh, then you can uh, add your uh, title whichever you want to have as your title right just give it a minute here it will load here in a minute hopefully there we go see now you can see this is the title that you see in here when I clicked on here right you can see that when I click on this little uh, gear thing there right there you can get back into the settings there and then you can see this is what my title is right here in YouTube right so when you change that let me just go ahead and change this and say uh, test just you know just for for the heck of it <laughs> let's just say text as uh, now it says it's saved let's go back in here and let's just refresh this let's just go back in there go under the gear thing there and it should generally see now it's changed it right so that's how you can do it i still haven't changed the description right so you can see that here i haven't changed the description you can make it public or unlisted whatever you want for this sake i'm just going to put this as unlisted so now it's saving the changes it changed it let me just refresh this and show to you that it actually does work and then uh, i'm just going to do a test run here see right here where it says privacy now it shows unlisted 
So that's how you can go about it. And uh, once you want, are ready to go live, you can simply just click on, uh, on the outputs there and just simply click here instead of clicking here at the end where the gearbox is. Simply click right there and now it will start streaming live. You can also change the title in here as well. Let me just do this here. And uh, then I can also change it here if I want to have it unlisted or whatever, right? So let's just go ahead and start that. I just simply click on uh, Start Broadcast and it will start broadcasting. Now you can see it says Streaming to YouTube. So let's go ahead and have a look here. So it's saying here it's receiving content. Let's just wait, wait a minute. All right, now it's saying it's uh, basically streaming. Let me just, yeah, there we go. Now you can actually see me streaming live to my own channel. <laughs> so that's basically how that works. And uh, now if you ever want to add, let's say, a picture or something like that, you can simply go here and, and basically go under media. And that's just for the sake of this, let's say I want to add a picture into it. Just going to quickly grab one here. Let's let me grab this one. This is from my other channel that I have. You can place it wherever you like. And it looks like this screen size is not 100% full. You can see the gray bars here in the end. So what you can do is go under the, uh, uh, just right click on the screen itself, go under the layouts and then just say uh, keep a ratio uh, or keep a aspect ratio just uncheck that and then you can drag this usually all the way to the end sometimes it doesn't want to let me do that but oh well i guess it's full screen <laughs> let me see here yeah i guess it is full screen i thought it wasn't full screen but it is actually full screen on my on my thing here but that's how you can add the uh, picture into it and let me just click on the picture you can click on it right here and then you can actually just drag it and resize it the way you like it you can also add like uh let's say a slideshow or whatever you want you can add a text into it uh, you can actually do screen captures with it the way i prefer to do screen captures is usually the way you want to do that is instead like you see right here where i have my mouse it says scene three I would switch over to scene four because it doesn't really seem to want a screen capture on the same screen for some odd reason. Uh, so what I would do is switch over to scene four and then I would uh, add the screen capture and you can just simply go, go all the way to the top and just click it. Now you can see it is capturing the screen and you can do the same thing. Just put it into place. It's going to make it a, a bit of a weird uh, effect there because it, uh, it's capturing everything right so it makes it look weird but then uh, if you just you know let's say if you're under this page then all you got to do is lower the screen then you won't see that on the actual feed let me just show you here uh, on the YouTube here I'm still you see that right there now it's coming in. it's usually a little bit of a delay to YouTube anyways you see now I lower the uh, lower the app now it's no longer showing you that weird effect right but anyways, I figured I would just show you guys a little bit more on the uh, XSplit uh, broadcaster. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy watching it. So that's how you can go about doing screen captures and stuff like that. And it seems to be really work. And I figured I'd show you actually how to set it up. How you go about ending the live stream is basically you just click on the uh, outputs there. Basically, all you got to do is click right here and the screen... Uh, will end it will end the life life feed here it says stream has completed now it will go offline here in a few minutes and uh, this is basically uh, unlisted so nobody really seen it but uh, anyways then you can go into youtube and delete it later but i hope that helped you guys uh, i will upload this here to my the tech tips and tricks show again i haven't uploaded a video here in a good while so i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this little tutorial so thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one